Hey everybody, I'm Rob with Anderson Barbecue Supply, and today, since I was sitting around the store and we weren't terribly busy, I thought we would do a biscuit test. And we're gonna do this with three pellet smokers. We have the Green Mountain Grill Ledge, we have the Camp Chef Woodwind Pro 24, and we have my Smokin' Brothers Premier Plus 24 inch. Now, I know these pellet grills aren't incredibly large, but it's the three sizes that I have are really close together, so I'm curious how evenly heating these cook chambers are. So we have about 16 or 15 um, biscuits here, and I got the smokers outside. They're up at 350 degrees, and it says to cook these for 13 to 16 minutes. So I'm gonna place them evenly on the cooking surface. I'm actually gonna do four, uh, kind of left, right, left, right, uh, front to back. And then the fifth one, I'm actually gonna put over by the temp sensor which in all three grills is in almost the exact same location. So we're gonna see how that goes. So I'm gonna go check on the grills. We're gonna get these popped open and see how evenly these pellet smokers cook. All right guys, so we got our first smoker here, the Camp Chef Woodwind 20 Pro 24. Got it popped open. Or there's my fifth. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna do one over by the smoker here, or by the uh, temperature gauge. I'm not gonna push them too far to the outside because I know the heat's gonna be hotter over there because it just makes sense with air coming up and around the temp. We'll put that down. Move on to the <laughs> yeah, well, you put it on some heat. I guess that's going to happen. So, that was an easy pop. I don't think anybody's ever opened it like that before. But we got one right by the heat sensor. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to uh, throw some duck fat down here. But, you know what, that's okay. Live and learn. Always something I forget to do. All right, same spot there. Move on to the GMG ledge. And we're going to go over by the temp sensor. Now the ledge you can see is a little bit wider, but we'll see how they compare. All right, put that baby to bed. I'm going to set my timer. We'll come back and check on it. All right guys, so the Camp Chef has been on for just about a little over 13 minutes. And I think this actually looks pretty darn good. Um, this one on the front right here is maybe a little bit more well done, but not too bad. So we're gonna pull these off. Yeah, there's my glove. That would have been smart. I didn't think they'd be that hot, but. Back right looks pretty good. Back left looks good. And then that one by the sensor is ooh, perfect, actually. So we're going to shut that down. Hit our buttons here. Shut her down, confirm. Then we're going to move over to the Smokin' Brothers. So these have had just about the same amount of time here. And these four look, you know, clearly the front right one is not quite as done. So there's a little less doneness there. Front left. Nice and golden brown. Back right, good. And then here, this one, that heat sensor one, it's perfectly cooked. A little bit more than the others though, is what I would say. So here we got the GMG. Now these have been not quite in as long. So these aren't gonna be quite as done. I'm just looking for overall doneness, but they look really even. Actually, everyone in this chamber here is cooked about the same. So, let's bring these inside and take another look at them real quick. All right, guys, so I have the biscuits inside. Now, the one thing I probably should have done, I should have left the GMGs on there a little bit longer because I didn't get them on all at the exact same time. There was probably a minute and a half difference. Um, but that maybe that just goes along and shows you that the 
cooking chambers all cook slightly different. Um, so again, these three on the front here are what was over my temp sensors. And as you look at them, this was the Camp Chef. I would say this was probably a super even cook against the back right, front left, and that temp sensor. They're all about the same golden brownness. The ones in the middle here are the Smokin' Brothers. Um, again, this is right over the temp sensor. Uh, clearly it's a little bit more done. And then the front right here biscuit is a little less done um, than the others. So not quite as even, but overall I would say really, really good still. And then we move on to the GMG here. Um, again, the temp sensor versus all the other ones are almost identical um, doneness. And it looks like they were just cooking at a, maybe a slightly slower rate um, than the other cookers. I know my camp chef was running a little hot when I put it on. Um, it's about 95 degrees out here in St. Paul today, but I had them all set at 350. I think Camp Chef was like at 370 when I put them on. Um, but people in the store have asked me, um, you know, compared to my Primo ceramic grill, does a pellet grill cook quicker? And I'm not a food scientist. I haven't really tested it. Um, but I do find that sometimes when I use my pellet smoker, it definitely cooks maybe slightly quicker. Um, so I think there's maybe a little more convection in there, a little more airflow because of the fan than a true natural convection, like an offset smoker or in a Primo that you would find. But these are the three I, uh, I cooked with today. Again, the Camp Chef Woodwind Pro 24, the Smokin' Brothers Premier Plus 24, and then the GMG Green Mountain Grill Ledge, which is a slightly larger chamber to say as well. I think these are 24. This is about 26 and a quarter, I believe. But um, overall, they, these pellet cookers, I think, performed really well and well within a range that I would expect the pellet cookers to. Now, on an offset or in the Primo uh, ceramic, you know, you're probably going to get different results. But uh, it is what it is. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you soon. Oh, yeah.